Hey guys, Assassin's Lament back here again. So, we're carrying on with the Invisible Hours. This is us going on to chapter 3 now. The last one was pretty interesting. So I'm looking forward to see what, what happens this time. Just because you're handsome, does not mean I will give up my secrets so fast. Do hereby declare this to be my last will and testament. And if you don't give me the combination, I'll tell everyone the truth about you. Let's drink a little house whiskey. Let's not. There's only so much a man can endure. No! Lying son of a bitch! <laughs> Just because you're handsome? I've got a treat for you! Come with me! Hmm, okay. Now, who should we follow today? Who should we start with? So, we're. In the foyer, and we've currently got Mr. Edison, Victor Mundy, and Sarah Barnhart, I think. Oh, it looks like we've got most, most of them in. So, last time we started with uh, Oliver Swan, then we did Flora White. Hmm... Okay. I'm just gonna pop back in there and see. So we've got Sarah, we've got Vandenberg. Yeah, these two were both talking about that thing. Because Edison <laughs> it was being told that he had no choice, he had to help Victor talk to the dead by using that thing. Funny thing is that we found the a little note by Tesla saying that he told everyone that that thing there was a radio to communicate with the dead, but he didn't himself didn't actually know what it was yet. He just dreamed about it <laughs> and they'd made they made the schematics for it. Um. Okay. I I think I want to vo follow Victor and see what happens. I'm just gonna follow Victor for the first. First, I'm with me. The scenes. Mr. Edison, could I borrow you for a moment? Oh, yes, of course. Come on in. Oh, that's quite the pocket watch. May I see? It's a spirit radio. Really? Tesla used it to contact the dead. You said you'd lost someone, so I thought, well, well, you know, we could try it together. <laughs> Ma chérie! We are friends, aren't we? Would you like to talk with the dead? What do you mean? Don't you want to be alone? With me? Yeah, she... I don't think she knew that Victor <laughs> was Victor Mundy. They had a whole close encounter and they... Spoke Shakespeare together, did a scene like, in the hallway, and it ended with a dramatic kiss. The thing is, we know that these two are actually father and daughter because he cut off his little girl's nose when she was giving testimony as a witness against him, and she's missing her nose. So it's a fairly easy assumption that they're father and daughter, but she found that out after the fact and now she pretty much is losing her shit because they're left alone. she doesn't want to be alone with him shocker there come on it's a party victor found a, a contraption that tesla used to communicate with the dead does it work let's 
Find her together, huh? A seance. Well, maybe you should go and find him. Don't then. be rude. Three is the magic number. Un, deux, trois. Wait. It's that goddamn bottle again. Who picked that bottle up? Thing is. She knows about the bottle. She knows about the bottle. He doesn't know about the bottle. You're rude. Three is the magic number. Un, deux, trois. Please stay. Alors, the number one rule of a seance is that no one leaves the circle once we begin. We must uh, stay together for safety. Is there um <clears throat> is there someone you wish to speak with in the spirit world? Perhaps the man in your locket? How do you know about him? <sighs> You're a young woman. A long way from England, you wear a wedding ring, yet you're traveling alone. <sighs> that locket gun just before decoration. Who is he? My husband. How did he die? At war. Did I just see something run past that window there? <laughs> okay, that looked like Mr. Swan. Uh, carry on. At war. Saving ten other men's lives. I'd rather not. What is his about. name? What? I don't want to say. What's his name? His name is Richard. Uh, I have to go. Like the circle. No! You're hurting me! Stop. Why don't you want to be alone with me? Your imagination is. Run away with you, monsieur. I only thought that. That detective. You... Did he tell you something bad about me? <sighs> he did uh, not even mention you. You said you lost someone. Who'd you lose? <sighs> My mother. She died when I was young. What was her name? You know, if, um... If this contraption really works, then, um... Shouldn't we call Tesla? Monsieur Tesla! Monsieur! Nikola Tesla. If your killer is in this house, speak his name. Speak his name. That's a scream and a half. It came from in Laura. there. Where is she? Where is she? Uh, I, d I don't know. Laura. 
Laura? Ah, she left that open. Now everyone knows. Oh. Hello, Oliver. You're looking a bit wet there, pal. What's going on? Je sais pas. Laura! I suggest you back off. Sounded a lot like a death scream. Yeah, we're keeping our, our eye on Victor because this is a Victor playthrough just now. Letter opener. Was somebody carrying the letter opener around with them at one point? This bottle of laudanum. Stabbed right in the stomach. What happened? Flora. I just found him. I found him like this. It wasn't me. <sighs> I've got to say. Uh, Oliver isn't doing a very good job at pretending to be blind right now. He should be going, what's happening? Somebody explain what's happening. What's wrong? He's dead. No shit, Sherlock. Oh my god. We all know who it was. It was this godforsaken animal. Put that finger away before I snap it off. Spoken like a true innocent man. Yeah, and where were you? I was with Mr. Swan. It is true. He was with me. Who would want to kill this bobo? I don't see anyone giving you an alibi. I was with her. Tell him. I, um... Tell him. She doesn't seem very keen, does she? It, it, it. It could have been, Mr. White. Don't you dare. I <laughs> say we tie up this animal until the police arrive and take him back to his cage for good. <laughs> That's enough? Mr. Edison, I need to mark the time of death. <clears throat> Do you have the hour? Twenty-five to twelve. It's eleven thirty-five. Mr. Swan. Yes, sir. Why are you wet? I, uh... I, I, w 
When I had Miss White scream, I, I thought it was coming from outside, so I went to make sure. Lies. He was already outside. We saw You're him. blind, not deaf. Her scream clearly came from under the house. Sir, if you had suggested that I had anything to do with... Now hear this! All of you. I sat quietly and listened to your lies. And one of you took that to mean I was a fool. And in your arrogance, you took another life. This young boy's life! But I promise you, this will not go unpunished. This will not go unpunished! Getting drunk's probably not the answer. Wow, that's a short chapter. It's really short. Okay, so we were with Victor that entire time. Why is there a gap at the end there? We were literally right there. <sighs> May as well stick with the people that we were already with. There's only a couple little gaps. I have to go. I've got a treat for you. Come with me. Mr. Edison, could I borrow you for a moment? Oh, yes, of course. Come on in. That's quite a pocket. What? Well, maybe you should go and find him then. Don't be rude. Sorry. Alors, the number one rule of a seance. For safety. Is there um <clears throat> that locket gun just before decoration? Yes. Who is he? It's my husband. How did he die? At war. Saving ten other men's lives. I'd rather not. What is his about. name? The whole point of this escapes well, me. I don't want to say. What's his name? His name is Richard. Go. I have to go. I have to no! You're hurting me! So she's had to go because she knows that's. Something's going down. Maybe she's hoping. Ah, yeah, that's what it was. She said that she was going to be working with Mr. Swan, and she wanted <laughs> she wanted Oliver to turn off the tower outside, and that's why she wants to run away. She wants to run away and open up that door. Fair enough, because the power's gone out. Why don't you want to be alone with me? Your imagination has run away with you, monsieur. I only thought that. That detective! Maybe she... Did he tell you something bad about me? You see. So we've seen all this, but. It said that there was a little gap. Where she was by herself. Ah! 
I don't remember being there being a little gap at all. That's a problem. Uh, that'll be it there. He came from in Laura? there. Where is she? Is it this just this game being glitchy? I think it must be. Wait. Laura? What's going on? Je sais pas. Laura! I suggest you that way. I kind of want to see her response when she goes down there and sees what's happened. The thing is, Vanderberg knew about this cellar because he found the other secret entrance. So that's why he was down there. We know Flora's gone down there to uh, try to open that door because uh, Oliver would have gone out there to turn off the the tower that was powering it in the first place. Hence why he's soaking wet. So, have they just bumped into each other? and? What is he doing down here? What happened? Laura. It was I found him like this. It wasn't me. Well, she doesn't look very surprised. Seems more interested in the room, to be honest. He's dead. Oh my god. We all know who it was. It was this godforsaken animal. Put that finger away before I snap it off. Spoken like a true innocent man. Yeah, and where were you? I was with Mr. Swan. It is true. He was with me. Who would want to kill this bobo? I don't see anyone. Okay, so we have actually seen all the there is to see with Sarah. It's just the game being a pain. So, I'm quite interested in seeing what happens to Augusta, sir. Eh? Let's just follow him around. Oops. So Augustus is purple. I've got a treat for you. Come so with yeah. me. There he is. It's Edison. Could I borrow you for a moment? Oh, yes, of course. Come on in. Oh. Mozart. <laughs> Edison likes Mozart. And I didn't look at the back of that watch when uh, uh, Gustav asked Edison the time. Okay. That's quite the pocket watch. May I see it? I bought it at auction. Belonged to Mozart. 
Really? Jesse used it to contact Can I show you something? You said you'd lost one. Mm -hmm. Follow me. So what is it? Interesting. That was who had that letter opener. I forgot he used that to open up that door, didn't he? Okay, let's see what happens. How did you know about this? There's more. It's down here. What is? Watch this. <laughs> What's that? It's a machine that can fly. <laughs> That's not possible. Well, hold on to your hat because this one is designed to leave our planet entirely. Yeah, it's a <laughs> rocket. It's a carriage that can be propelled up into the heavens. How do you know any of these work? I am my father's son. He would have been very proud of you. What's this? Careful. Don't want any other deaths. Tesla coil. Why would you say that? Say what? Other deaths. Why those exact words? <laughs> Turn out your pockets. What? Now. Loud enough. No one with a life as perfect as yours would want to kill themselves. Oh! What'd you do that for? I see what you're doing. You didn't bring me down here to show me all this. You brought me down here to finish what you started. You're the one who tried to kill me. I brought you down here to see if you could open the lock on that door. A locked door in a secret room. You're the one who tried to poison me. Oh, Jesus. You're the one who burnt that document. <sighs> That's how you know what other death means. You wanted me out of the way. So you could take all this for the Vandenbergs. But this is my genius now. Oh, Jesus. Nasty bastard. Hmm. Waste not, what not. What a prick. Poor boy. Well, Is anybody here? Hello? 
somebody's down here, you better come out now. So she just gonna stand there now until the rest of them show up. That's a long time to be standing there. This young boy's life! But I promise you, this will not go unpunished. This will not go unpunished! Well, there we go. Edison's a murderer. Kinda. I think we could probably guess that anyway, that he was gonna end up doing something, something like that. Alright, so pretty much from the moment of death, we didn't need to stand next to him. <laughs> cool! I didn't count it, because he's dead. So. Who next? Like, we've. Essentially, we've done. The hell is that? Those two. Oh wait. Okay, that'll be after he murders him and walks away. Yeah, let's find out what Edison did after he walked, like, murdered that you boy and then walked away. Show me all this. You... See what exactly he did? He go wash his hands a million times. Unclean, unclean. What's this? Careful. Don't want any other deaths. Why would you say that? Say what? Other deaths. Why are those exact words? <laughs> Turn out your pockets. Now. The way it just sticks them. Loud in them. No one with a life as perfect as yours would want to kill themselves. What'd you do that for? I see what you're doing. But this is my genius now. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hmm. <sighs> this is this is my genius now. Wait, it's not what not. Just gonna steal everything. Prick. <laughs> Whoa. 
Well, she found that quicker than I thought. Didn't he say that he was with Oliver? <laughs> okay. What are you doing? And that's why they said they were together. So they both wanted to hide. What's going on? Je sais pas. Laura! Cool. Who next? <laughs> so, all done. So, it's Oliver, Flora, and Gustav. Let's. I'm looking forward to see what exactly it is that Oliver does. Oh, where was he? He's green, so. Probably in there. He'll be hopping out the window, most likely. Him and Flora were in that room. He'll be hopping out the window, I'm pretty sure. Can he hear that? How may I help you, sir? Mr. Swan, did you let each of the guests in personally? Yes, sir. All except for Miss White. She came with you. Right. And when you opened the door, could somebody else have snuck in behind them? Maybe somebody we don't know about. I... I... Uh, I, I don't know, sir. Forgive me, Mr. Swan, but why would Tesla pay to have a blind assistant? To keep his secret safe from Brian eyes. And he did not pay me. I work for free. It's what the government says I must do to stay here in America. An indentured servant. That's slavery, what you're describing. No. I was a slave in Zanzibar. Here. I am an indentured servant. But if people think I killed Mr. Tesla, I will be sent back. I cannot go back. Mr. Swan, I wouldn't worry. Blind men don't usually get blamed for murder. <laughs> Thank you. Please, excuse me. I must turn down the guest rooms. Of course. You better keep up that pretense then. Oh, dude. <laughs> Come on. You need to pretend better. Wait, I just want to check. Did anybody see that? Is there any chance that anybody saw him running out of the building? It looks like he locked out. Should have brought an umbrella with him at the very least.
not have to turn it back on, no? The hell was that? Why didn't he go back through the front door though? Who locked that? Flora Slucketh. Gustav's at the door. Not the easiest window to get in through. Fucking hell, a blind man could definitely not do that. So Gustav's gonna know. If he climbed through that window, he's gonna know that he can't be blind. Is that? Ha! Huh. I can't go through this window. <laughs> uh, wait, there's a teleportation button, isn't there? Brilliant. <laughs> Makes things easier. What are you doing? A joke. Ah, uh, he left the door, that window open. If he'd closed it, he could have maybe claimed that he came through the door before Gustav locked it. But that's not going to be a thing now. Okay. How much time are we missing from Flora's? Starts off with her in the kitchen as well, so let's just start there again. Can I show you something? She walks past. I remember that. She walks past those two, so. <laughs> Ma chérie! We are friends, aren't we? Would you like to talk with the dead? What do you mean? You can fast forward through all of this. Do I want to be alone? With me? Come on, it's a party. Victor found a, a contraption that Tesla used to communicate with the dead. Does it work? Let's find out together, huh? A seance. Actually, I was looking for Mr. Swan. Well, maybe you should go and find him. Don't then. be rude. She wasn't looking for Mr. Swan because she just left Mr. Swan. <clears throat> Why don't you want it? Yeah, you can do that better. Come on. 
Dad! Don't. I have to go! Like the circle. No! You're hurting me! Stop. Thing is, after all that, she didn't even get into the door. She just screamed and then she stood there for half an hour. My mother. She died when I was young. What was her name? You know, um, Well, the gun's fallen off again, so it's she definitely could have got in there. Ah, why would she look back? seen all that. The only one left is Mr. Gustav Gustav himself. And where was he? Is he in? I'm guessing he was in here. Nope, Edison. Uh. Ah, Gustav was in his usual place. He was in there when those two were talking in the end of chapter two. He was in here. He might have heard all of that. And those two were talking about working together. He was thinking about stabbing Flora with the knife that was stuck into the bit of meat. Okay. Mr. Edison, could I borrow you for a moment? Oh, yes, of course. I'm thinking Gustav heard that about the watch and that he bought it from auction and it belonged to Mozart. Mm -hmm. How may I help you, sir? 
Mr. Swan, did you let each of the guests in personally? Yes, sir. All except for Miss White. She came with you. Right. And when you opened the door, could somebody else have snuck in behind them? Maybe somebody we don't know about. I... I... Uh, I, I don't know, sir. Forgive me, Mr. Swan, but why would Tesla pay to have a blind assistant? To keep his secret safe from Brian eyes. And he did not pay me. I work for free. It's what the government says I must do to stay here in America. That's slavery, what you're describing. No. I was a slave in Zanzibar. Here. I am an indentured servant. But if people think I killed Mr. Tesla, I will be sent back. I cannot go back. Mr. Swan, I wouldn't worry. Blind men don't usually get blamed for murder. Thank you. Please, excuse me. I must turn down the guest rooms. Of course. So he claimed that he was going to go turn down the gas rooms and then instantly went outside. Are you going to go into the kitchen give staff and see that that window's closed? Nope. Hello? Why did that just burst open? Hello? That'll be Oliver trying to get through the front door, but it's locked. Don't know why he's not turning around going, who the fuck's that? But okay. Flora Sluckett. The thing is... I won't, it's not letting me. What, how would Flora's locket be under there? When Flora... It's not. Flora's got hers. So they had matching Tesla and her had matching lockets. Maybe there was a relationship there. It won't let me pick it up. Been meaning to look at his gun. That'll be the that's the last interactive item. Cool. Construction really works, you know. It is because of that. Monsieur Tesla. Monsieur Nicola Tesla. is in this house. This is known. This is known.
It came from in Flora? there. Flora? Where is she? Where is she? Uh, I, d I don't know. Okay. So... Should have 100% for everyone, but not Augustus. For some reason. <clears throat> Just let me check something. Um, oh, apparently the gun wasn't the last interactive item. It was me thinking it was. Did I get an achievement for 100% of... All scenes in Chapter 3. Okay, yep. So that's 100% for Chapter 3 then. <clears throat> I think I might end this chapter on <laughs> Gustav's little rant that he gives, because it was pretty good. dead. Oh my god. We all know who it was. It was this godforsaken animal. Put that finger away before I snap it off. Spoken like a true innocent man. Yeah, and where were you? I was with Mr. Swan. It is true. He was with me. Who would want to kill this poor boy? I don't see anyone giving you an alibi. I was with her. Tell him. I, um... Tell him! She doesn't seem very keen, does she? It, it, it could have been, Mr. White. Don't you dare. I say Why would he say that? this animal until the police arrive and take him back to his cage for good! That's enough! Mr. Edison, I need to mark the time of death. Uh. Do you have the hour? Yeah, let's have a it's look at The watch that he pulls out is... The Mozart watch. Five. Mr. Swan. Yes, sir. Why are you wet? I, uh... When I had Miss White scream, I, I thought it was coming from outside, so I went to make sure. You're blind, not deaf. Her scream clearly came from under the house. Sir, if you had suggested that I had anything to do with... Now hear this! All of you. I said quietly and listened to your lies. And one of you took that to mean I was a fool. And in your arrogance, you took another life. This young boy's life! But I promise you, this will not go unpunished. This will not go unpunished! Okay. So that's the end of chapter 3. We've got another achievement for watching all the scenes, so 100%. Yeah, again. We've only got one chapter left, by the looks of it, chapter 4. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to end the stream here so I can separate the chapters. And then I'm going to nip to loot and then I'll pop back on. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, so.
So, yep, thanks for watching with me there, and I will be right back. I will see you later.